You're tuned into Capital Jazz TV. I'm your host, Jodeen Dorsey, and this is the 28th annual Capital Jazz Fest. Shanice is here with me. Hello. You, let me tell you how <laughs> she just put it on the floor and just Aww, walked away. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, it was so good to have you here. It was so great to be here. How was your experience? It was amazing. The, the audience was, you know, partying with me, singing along with me, and I right. felt the love, and it was just a lot of fun. It I had was. a good time. You were here for, the last time we talked, you were here for the Aretha Franklin tribute. Yes. And I remember the buzz in the office was, and, and I say Capital Jazz really? office, was, we've got to bring Shanice back. Yeah headlining you know like yes. we've got to bring you back to do and then you got on stage and you tore it up and we were just like yep everyone was just like yep that's, <laughs> there she is there well, she is well i am honored that you guys even like <laughs> thought of me <laughs> it was so good but i want to thank you for you during quarantine everyone had their thing right we had d nice we had so many people doing their thing but you and flex <laughs> With with the spinning of the music, yes. you singing along, oh, like yeah. you guys sharing on IG was just so therapeutic for me. And I'm talking about me personally. Yes. Like I want to thank you for oh, that. Oh no, like, thank you. You guys kept us. It was therapeutic and fun. For, for us. Yeah. You know, being locked down, we couldn't go anywhere. Yeah. You know, and music is it's good for the soul. So it it helped us take our minds off of what was really going on in the world. Right. And um, we Flex was DJing on Instagram before- Before D-Nice. Before, before the COVID. Before, the, the, the quarantine, yeah. club quarantine. No, before initially. like yeah. lockdowns and yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then the day that they told us we had to be locked down, Flex said, I want to go on live. And we were on at least four, four or five, five times months. a week. Yep, yep, <laughs> we were yep. I, and I was watching. I'm one of those yeah. that was watching. I was one of those who just kept you on. He, so yeah. he was going to go on by himself. And I was like, can I be your hype girl? <laughs> So that's it. how I ended up in it. <laughs> I loved it, but you stayed yeah. busy during quarantine. Oh yeah, you know what? We worked a lot during quarantine. Um, I was doing a lot of concerts in my living room. You know, mm -hmm. everything was virtual. So yeah. I was doing, uh, for, for TV One, they had me do mm -hmm. uh, Unsung at Home and you know, so I was doing a lot of singing in my yeah. living room, yeah. which was actually cool because I didn't have to go anywhere, but but it was really different. But God blessed us even during the pandemic, just yeah. kept us so busy. Yeah, so important, so important. And how, um, how's the family? How's how the kids? How's the kids? Doing? My daughter. I, do we even call them kids anymore? Like, I have, do. I, I'm wait. gonna always call them my babies. <laughs> They're like this. My son. I know my. You know, Flex is six four. So our son, he's seventeen, and he's like six two now. Yeah. Um, our daughter is twenty years old. And I feel like I'm 20, so. <laughs> yeah, she looks all of but 21, <laughs> right? You. Like, and I'm only giving you thank 21 you. for drinking purposes only, but. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. But they're doing really good. They, they're both um, great kids. Uh, they love music. They love acting, singing, basketball. My son plays basketball, but he's, yes. but he's also writing songs and. He's into music as well. So is my daughter. My daughter's actually going to drop a single. So she's coming, my daughter's coming out with new music. Are we, this is the like exclusive, <laughs> yes. get, get it first here at Capital Jazz TV. Yep. I love it. You heard it first. Wow. <laughs> so they're doing great. What do you tell your daughter now that she's interested in music? Like you being so young, being yeah. into the music industry, like what do you tell your daughter? Um, I tell her to, Enjoy it and know that, first of all, you got to have the right people around you. Absolutely. And growing up, I was 11 years old when I signed my record deal. And I had my mom and my grandmother and my aunt. And, you know, my family was there to protect me from any type of negativity. Right. So I always, you know, uh, tell my kids it's important for, you know, to keep, the, you know, good people mm -hmm. around them. And um, music is what we love to do but always find other things too. And I'm saying this because in the industry, it's so up and down. That's right. So when you That's have right. your downtime, right. you That's know, right. you need something else to fall back on as well. Mm -hmm. Because some people, all they think about is that, is music and, and making it. And then when it doesn't go the way they want it to, oh then gosh. some people end up on drugs and end up depressed. depressed. And 
you know so. issues non yeah exactly yeah you don't know and i've do. been through it all i've had my ups i've had my downs i've had you know i've gone through it all so i just talked to him about stuff like that that's so yeah. that's so real and it's it's such a, an important lesson especially for independent artists yeah and i know that we highlight here at capital jazz we like we like to highlight and um give shine to a lot of independent artists but a lot and of stay them, true to who you are yeah oh yeah don't ooh. let anyone try to change you and say i think you should be like this or ooh. sing like this or ooh. look like this or you know what i'm saying because Be you had to deal with that too i'm sure yeah in the beginning and i was so shy so i didn't really tell like when i didn't like what i was wearing or didn't like a certain thing i didn't know how to express it because i didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings and mm -hmm. so some stuff i just let pass mm -hmm. but now when i look back i'm like man i should have said can i do this differently or try yeah. this you know so yeah. i tell them that as well yeah so I, I have to ask you, this is girlfriend to girlfriend. I've got to ask okay. you this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, we, we, there's a group of us, me, some of me and my homegirls, like we have a group and, and, and it's the, we love you and flex, like Thank as a you. unit, oh. individually, but as a unit as well, Thank right? Because, you. you know, I'm not going to say, oh, relationship goals, but you guys do give, us, give women something to aspire for. Some of my friends is something to aspire for. Thank you. What advice do you have for women in relationships? How do you keep it healthy and balanced? Because yes. it goes, relationships go up and down yeah. too. How do you keep it healthy and balanced? Well, you have to go into it knowing that it's not going to always be great. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You, we, you, Flex and I, we've had our ups and downs, but we also said divorce is not an option. That's right. So That's I can't right. say there's not a such <laughs> thing. Like every person in this room no, just threw their hands up in the air. There's right? no such thing as a perfect marriage. But when it's two people that really love each other, you're, when it's two people that's willing to put in the work, I think that's important. Prayer, mm -hmm. you know, we pray a lot together. And, um, and I think it's important to do the things you did when you were dating. Because people get in relationships, you get comfortable, and you stop dating. So we really try to continue to date. Um, just keep it exciting, you know, keep it sexy, keep it hot and spicy, yeah. <laughs> you know. Wear this outfit for him every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the advice. I mean, I could, yeah. but there's no one answer, but, you know, you have to, and you have to have a good friendship. When Flex and I met, we were friends first, mm -hmm. and um, I did not know I was speaking to my husband. Like, I had no clue, mm -hmm. because our friendship was so cool. Um, so I think having a really good friend is important as well. Fantastic. I know we've got to wrap it up, but I've got to ask you two more things. Just two more things. So the vegan, the, the vegan lip, lip line. Yes. Please tell me about this. I have a lip line. It's called Smile by Shanice. I'm actually revamping everything. So I'll let you know when I put it back out there because okay. I'm kind of like switching some things around. Okay. But I've always wanted, even when I Love Your Smile was released, mm -hmm. I wanted to come out with a, a lipstick line because I love makeup and I love smiling. I'm always <laughs> smiling. <laughs> so I thought this would be, uh, you know, and I wanted to find something that was, uh, that was non-toxic, that was healthy, you know, because I, later on, I found I've learned that yeah. lead is in some so much. makeup. So, so much. yeah, so it doesn't. It's lead free, yes. you know. Yes. <laughs> you had me at vegan. I read that line. I was like, oh, I gotta ask vegan, about this because yes. I need to get some of this. Yes. Like, I, I I don't wear makeup a lot, but when I do, I, I definitely love to wear vegan, safe, yeah. non toxic, and it's liquid matte. So when you put it on, it lasts all day. Ah, uh, yeah. So we've got to definitely. How do we keep in contact? Like, how do we know? How do we know what's going on with Shanice when you're touring next? Where do we go? Um, you can reach me on. I'm always on Instagram. I love talking to my fans on Instagram. So yes. it's Shanice online on Instagram, and on Facebook it's Shanice Wilson, and on Twitter it's Shanice online. There it is. There it is. So that's how you can reach me. And I'm telling you, I follow her. I, I've been following her way before. Yay! And I am an thank active you. fan as well. So thank Shani's, you. Thank you. I appreciate you. you. <laughs> thank you. No, but thank you. Thank you for being part of the Capital Jazz family. We got to get her on the cruise now. Now we got to get her on the cruise. <laughs> I'm afraid of boats. <laughs> I have to pray about that one. <laughs> Prayer. We're we going to pray about it. <laughs> 
fantastic. But welcome to the Capital Jazz family. Thank you. We're glad you're here. I'm so glad to be here. Shanice, Jody, and your host, Capital Jazz TV, you are tuned in. Thank you for watching.